646, we all try to keep things clean around the house, but maybe we should be cleaning things more than you think. Yeah, doctors say too many items that people are using every day make it on the don't make it on the list of cleaning chores. Megan Keyes shows us what they are and how you should start doing. If I asked you what's the dirtiest thing in your house, you'd probably say the toilet. Well, science shows you should point to something else, and that something else is a gadget many people think they can't live without. That's right, I'm talking about your cell phones. Scientists at the University of Arizona found cell phones are 10 times germier than toilet seats. Doctors at WebMD recommend you clean your phone at least once a day. They say alcohol will do the best job killing bacteria on your phone, but check with your phone's manufacturer before you use it. The manufacturer may have other phone cleaning suggestions to help you avoid damage. Another device that sees its fair share of dirt and grime help you tune into WWL-TV every day. It's your TV remote. As you flip through channels every day, thousands of germs pile onto it. WebMD advises you clean your TV remote once a week using disinfectant wipes or alcohol swabs that'll help you keep it clean. Just ensure you take the remote's batteries out before you start cleaning. Now on to your beauty routine. If you wear makeup every day, you understand liquid foundation will stick to makeup brushes until what seems like the end of time. Well, WebMD suggests you make an effort to clean wet makeup brushes once a week. It also suggests you clean brushes used for dry makeup like blush and powder once a month. All you need to do is wash them with soap and warm water, let them sit out overnight to air dry, and you've gone from filthy to fabulous. Something else to think about is cleaning your refrigerator. WebMD recommends you scrub it down every three to four months. So what happens if you don't follow that advice? Well, we have Dr. Kevin Stevens with us to look at the risks. Now, we'll start with the kitchen. Talk to us a little bit. You know, we, we spoke about three to four months you should clean out your refrigerator, but what risk could um, it, it pose if you're not cleaning out your refrigerator? Well, the biggest thing is bacteria because mm -hmm. you can have what we call coliform, which is like E. coli and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, and if you don't clean it out, it can just recirculate inside the refrigerator. And when you have open containers or things that you pull out, mm -hmm your hands and so forth can get contaminated. It can cause you the illness. Yeah, because I know some people probably don't even clean out the refrigerator. Like, they might do it every few I'm not advising that, <laughs> but, you know, I know it happens. But, you know, it's, it's, it's more than that in a way that you have to look at the expiration dates mm -hmm. because a lot of things that expire, like milk and so forth, you have to take it out. Mm -hmm. But also bread on your counter. You can have mold and mildew on um, fruit and bread on the counter. Mm -hmm. If you don't watch it, um, it can, they can get bad on you. And, and let's shift it over to cell phones. You know, cell phones, we, we said that they're 10 times germier than your toilet seat. What makes them so dirty? Is it just that you're putting them everywhere? Well, you remember most of the, like the cold virus mm -hmm. is spread through your nasal droplets. Mm -hmm. and through, so when you talk on your phone, mm -hmm. the, the moisture from your lungs gets into your phone. Mm -hmm. And so when you talk, you can spread germs on your phone just by talking on it. And that's really the, the case here is you're breathing and talking on it and your hands mm -hmm. on it. Many times, the best thing for us to do is wash our hands frequently. Oh, yeah. Um, particularly with soap and water. The soap does better than even the hand sanitizer. I know. We actually just did a study on that <laughs> yesterday. Um, and we're going to jump on over to our last question with the bathrooms. Keeping uh, the bathrooms clean, that's, that's a huge thing that you need to do. Talk to us a little bit about the risk if you're not, you know, periodically cleaning your, your bathroom. Again, the bathroom can be a, a place of a germ, just a hotel for germs. I mean, so um, you really need to, your toothbrush is one. Definitely do not share toothbrushes. Mm -hmm. Number two, towels. Mm -hmm. uh, is some people actually cold, color code their towels so that this is your color, if particularly mm -hmm. have a large family, mm -hmm. so that that could be better. So. Well, thank you so much, Dr. <laughs> Stevens. We appreciate you being here with us this morning. And we'll fight germs again tomorrow morning on Eyewitness News, and we'll examine a variety of products available in stores designated to keep you clean. What are the differences between regular soap, antibacterial soap, and hand sanitizer? We'll show you tomorrow morning at 6.